Hey everybody, it's Tim and Walker at Full Spectrum Laser, and today we are going to show you how to make some really cool light box projects. Yeah, yeah, those are those are the lights, and 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 this is this is what I made. You'll see mine too. It's a little better. Hi. First, we'll get our paper ready. Now we will drag in our files. Let's go ahead and turn off the raster layers. I designed this file specifically for RE3. Let's go ahead and turn off all the layers we don't want to cut at this moment. And then set our power settings to 100 speed 15th hour and 20 current. Layer 1 is down. Even with a 90 watt laser, it's crazy how detailed you can get with a material as delicate as paper. Time for layer three. And layer four. And layer five. Now time for the quarter inch foam board. This file was designed specifically so I didn't lose any pieces when cutting the four corners. Once cut, simply break apart. While gluing to the acrylic base, I used four foam core layers to give enough room to hide the LED controller. Now I start to hot glue the LED strips in place, facing inwards. Cut the LED strip once it has sufficiently wrapped around, and keep in mind our border will hide the LED strip. Time for the engraved acrylic layer. Then we can start gluing the paper layers one by one, placing spacers between each layer of the paper. I learned tugging on each corner before the glue sets helped the layers to come out better. After the paper is all done, it's time to build the acrylic box. I didn't know where the power cord was going to end up, so I planned on drilling into the box later after it's all set. Using super glue, I installed the top of the box. Before gluing everything in place, I tested it to make sure the lights worked. And there you have it, your own beautiful light box. Let's check on Tim to see how he went about making his. Thanks Walker. I went about mine a bit differently. First I cut a square out of some translucent red acrylic. I then cut the same square out of clear acrylic. This file was made specifically to work with binding posts. That's why I added the holes in the corners. Next up, it's time to cut the paper layers.
Now it's time for assembly. I start by setting the red acrylic backdrop on the binding posts. Once they're lined up, it's super easy to add the rest of the layers. Notice I darkened up the paper layers with paint to give them a more silhouette look. Now that everything is in place, I'll screw on the frame and backlight it. We hope you enjoyed this entry into our how-to series. If you'd like to try your hand at these types of projects, check out our free projects page on fslaser.com. And until next time, keep making.